how to upload Canva template to Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload a uh, template from Canva to your Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first step that you need to do is to go ahead to Wix.com and then you have to sign into your account. If you don't have an account, it is very easy to sign up. Once you have finished signing in in the account, you will be guided to this page. As you can see here, we have manage.wix.com. Here we have the list of the website that we have created. If you don't, didn't create a website, all you have to do is to click on this blue button, create new website. Now I'm going to select and edit the website that I have. Let's say that this is the website and here we have the dashboard of that specific website. I'm going simply to click on edit site right here and it will open up the Wix website editor. Now, in the meanwhile on of the loading of the website, I'm going to Canva. Here, as you can see, it is a, a free tool to make some designs and a lot of uh, particular things, for example, from design, websites, banners, and etc. All you have to do is, for example, if you want to upload the template, we are going to build up a step-by-step -step right here. Let's go ahead and see, or let's go and begin with the website banners. All you have to do is to go to canva.com and here we have the search bar. I'm going to type, for example, website banners. Then I will and click on enter and here it will show us some banners. As you can see here, we have some banners that we can go ahead and customize or you can create your own from scratch. I'm going to choose, for example, this one. I have this one. I'm going to click on customize and simply I am going to download this particular banner. And then we are going to let it uh, or I, we are going to put it as a PNG file. Click on share, download. PNG, click on download also, and it will be downloading that, uh, that banner right away. It will not normally take a lot of time. As you can see here, everything is set up. That was for the banner. And here I'm going to Canva again. I'm going to exit this one and we are going to see, for example, this one here is a banner. Let's go ahead and, and see another thing uh, in the place of the banner. Here we have the blog banners. You can see here, I'm going to put, for example, a website header. Let's go and put, for example, a website, website header, header like that. I'm going to search for it. And here we have some headers. And as you can see, these are some illustrations. I'm going to choose one that will go well with this color. And then we are going to add it. Let's go ahead and add something like this one, maybe this or that here. This maybe it will be uh, good with the, uh, the colors of this. Maybe I'm going to customize this template. Then I'm going simply to download it as a PNG. Also, this is very easy. Now let's go ahead to the website and see if everything is going well. And yes, it is going well. So I'm going to make some space right here. And before that, we are going to download this. Click on share. Click on download. And here we will wait for, for example, the PNG to load up. Now I'm going to wait for it to make everything loaded. Click on download again. And we will be good to go. Now. Let's go ahead right here and then we are going to search for example, we have a banner, a header and I'm going to search for a footer. For example, I'm going right here to the Canva website. Then I'm going to type on the search bar right here. Let's go ahead right here and search for website like that, footer. Then I'm going to type enter and we will see here we have something on this one. Let's go ahead and see something uh, that will fit the footer. Uh, for example, I can't see something right, right here. So I'm going maybe to create a design 
and make it for the footer. I'm going to create simply a design. Let's go ahead and put website, the format of website. Website here we have uh, 1366 by 768. So I'm going to put this size or dimension 1366 by uh, 769. Let's say that I'm going to create a design for this one and then I'm going to put for example a color let's go ahead and, and choose a background color I'm going to make it uh, something like maybe like that to match the themes right here for those and this one also I'm going to make make it a, bit, a little bit lighter like that and then we are going to put, for example, let's go to the elements and add email. For example, email here or like that. You can go ahead and add this as an example for a email form. This is for the footer. And I'm going to type also uh, some page pages and see whatever we have. This is not what I wanted to add, but it is okay to add something. I'm going to center this to the middle. I'm going to add a heading, for example, a home. And here we have it, this home right here. I'm going to put it right back. Then we are going to put, for example, contact us like that make it smaller to fit in there the footer here we have this i'm going to add also a, a privacy policy here we have it make it smaller to fit right here make it a little bit bigger like that and here we have this now you can also add and go ahead and add for example another a page and we are going to put it here shipping for example and simply put it right here then we have these pages i'm going to put set something right here something like that and here we have it and let's say that this is considered as a footer click on download download again and you will be good to go now let's go ahead uh, to the wix website and if you want to add the templates from Canva, all you have to do is to go ahead and add an element. Now, for this element, I'm going simply to select some strips. Then we are going to choose the strips that we have. Let's go ahead and add this strip, for example. And for that strip, I'm going to click on Stretched. Here you can see we have the page and we have the screen. All you have to do is to put the screen and you can also put some margins, but I highly recommend you to let the margin at zero. Now for the background, here we have the background option to change it. You can either put a video or you are going to put an image or also you can go ahead and put a color. Now let's go ahead and click on image and we are going to set up the images that we have downloaded. Click on upload media, upload from computer, and we are going to see the files that we have here. And as you can see here, we have the banner of the header. I'm going to let it right here, upload, and then we are going to change the background to it. Here we have it, click on background, and here, as you can see, we have everything. Now, in order to make this banner fits and the, uh, as you can see here, the writing will fit, all you have to do is to uh, go ahead right here into the tools, click on toolbar, and then something will appear right here. I'm going to close this. And here we have the size. We have the width, which is something stable and static. And we have here the height. You can go ahead and put the height, for example, I'm going to put here, let's try 300. And we will see something have changed. And here we have it. This is the uh, ideal, I think, 
uh, size or, or the height of that footer or uh, for this banner. Now let's go ahead and add more items. It is very simple. You have simply to do the same step. Click on add elements, choose a strip, click on any strip that you have. Simply click on the strip. You can put it here, put it stretched on the screen, change background, add a video or a image uh, from the gallery, upload the file that you want to put like that. Click on open and it will be uh, uploading. Then we are going simply to click on change background. This is only the steps that you need to do to put or upload the uh, design or the templates from Canva. This is only the uh, beginning. You can go ahead and add some other, uh, for example, images. This is the image. You can go ahead and put the strip right here, or you can put it like that. Here we have the image. If you want to change something on the image, as I told you before, go to tools, check the toolbar. Then we have here the height. Here we have the height of 400. I'm going to put it, for example, 300, uh, the same as the header. And you will see something popping off right here. It is a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make it increased right here. 500, maybe four. It is the minimum or three. You can go ahead and change the position right here. I'm going to put four or 500 and see the position. Here we have 440. It is a little bit. Uh, there is a little gap on it. You can go ahead and connect it. And here we have it. It looks a little bit better right here. And now let's go ahead and add uh, the other or the footer that we have set. Click on add elements again. Strip. You are going to add whatever strip you have. For example, this strip. You can go ahead and change the background color or the background of it. I'm going to click on image or video. It is the same thing. Upload from my computer. Then we are going to put this as the footer. It will also uh, upload from the computer. It will not take that long. And then simply are going to you can uh, change the background. You can go ahead and crop and edit the image in advance or adjust it or create a video. Click on change background. And here we have it. Now, let's go ahead right here and put something right here. Let's say that we have the size here. It is put or set to 400. I'm going to put 300 and C. This is a little bit smaller. So I'm going to put a 600 like that. And as you can see, the, uh, the, the, uh, the message or the uh, the footer is uh, going to be right here set here we have the home contact us privacy policy and more i'm going to back here here we have the header or the banner of the header we have the header itself and we have the footer you can go ahead and add some sections um, uh, in the uh, advanced right here, you can go ahead and add a section, add something right here. This is just a template, so the buttons will not be something important. You are going to use the website button. So this is used only for a theme purpose and not a clickable purpose, for example, or something like that. It is only a theme. So you can go ahead and remove this. For example, email template and let it right here with this color and you will be good to go. That was very simple and very easy. You can go ahead and select any type of banner that you have on uh, Canva and then you are going to make it bigger. For example, let's go ahead and make this, uh, this one bigger. I'm going to delete that and here we are going to make this uh, strip bigger. Let's go ahead and add or make it something like that. You can set it right here. And then we are going simply to click on the toolbar, add it. And here we have the height. I'm going to put it, for example, for the size 600. And here we can see right here. 
it is uh, making the photo uh, going bigger let's go and put it for example 800 and see the result and here we have the uh, picture even much more bigger and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content on how you can uh, go ahead and upload the uh, template to your website uh, or wix website from canva i hope to see you soon on the next one